Welcome everybody, welcome to Unexpected Guest. My name is John Cleese and I'm coming to you high above Lake Michigan, whoops, from my apartment in Chicago, the great city of Chicago, I should say. We're having this beautiful spring. Um, today is a lovely warm day um, that has no bearing on what we're gonna make today, however, because we're gonna make stuffed peppers. And I don't actually know why people have stopped making stuffed peppers, um, but they are delicious and uh, I brought down the calories. Um, for those of you who've seen the show before, um, you know, I'm always watching my weight and I just, we take two cheat um, episodes over the last couple of weeks. We did a, we did a um, apple tart and we did this delicious chocolate cake that are up on the site. Well, I gotta tell you what, no more cheat days for me for a while. I've got to get back on track. Uh, bike season's coming up, bike cycling season, yes. And I need to lose about 15 pounds. I'm 174.8. And I need to get to 160. So we are going to make stuffed peppers. Um, and these stuffed peppers, I've actually brought the calories down to 281 calories, basically 282 calories per stuffed pepper. These are seven Weight Watchers points if you're on that fantastic program. So let's get started. I'll show you some of the tricks that I did to take some of the calories out, one of which was to actually remove the rice and replace it with um, shirataki noodles which uh, some of you seen the noodle show, those are the, those are the noodles made out of the shirataki, which is a, um, I think it's a yam. Um, it's basically pure soluble fiber. Um, there are no calories in it, although the ones that I have have a few little calories on it because some people are mixing tofu in with it for a different texture. But let's get started. I've got a big pot of water on the back here, and I'm gonna turn it on high. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to we are going to um, soften up our green peppers in the hot water for about three minutes. Now look at this, Mama. This is a big green. Excuse me. This is a big red pepper. And um, I should say, of course, you can use red peppers, green peppers. I, I like green peppers. I don't know why everybody poo-poo's them, but I've got red and yellow, lots of different peppers. Um, but this recipe is for six ounce pepper. And that's after it gets cut. Now this is a six ounce pepper because I did it last night um, after you cut the top off. This one here actually is going to be obviously much bigger. Um, before I take the top off, it is, whoa, that's 14 ounces. So that is not good because we're, um, we only want a six ounce pepper for this recipe, which is 4, 8, 12, 16, about 30. I can't do it. 132 divided by 4. What is that, Kevin? Whatever that is, that is that's the amount of calories in this thing. Do you know what it is? 41. 41, 4, 8, no, that would be 160. 3, 6, 9, 12. So it's about 35 calories of pepper. All right. So I'm going to cut the top off of this. Oh, I'm going to move some stuff here. Look at this really nice, um, uh, a friend of mine made this when I lived on Martha's Vineyard, and I use it to hold all my garlic on top of the refrigerator, uh, which is nice when it's when I've, when I've got it out of my way. Um, okay, so here we go. Anyway, I digress. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take the top off and scoop out some of the membrane. And by the membrane, I just mean the seeds. And then you just wanna take out some of the, some of the rib, rib joint. Okay, so there's one. We're going to do this recipe for four peppers. You could chop this up and use that back in the pepper. And you know what? I think we are, I'm going to throw that in the water. We are going to do something like that. Um, why don't we do uh, two of these lovely red peppers. Again, I'm going to take the membrane out. But this is such a nice dish, and I'll tell you, last night when I made it, there are so many recipes for stuffed peppers um, in terms of the way that you make them. Some people uh, don't pre-boil them, although that seems to be what a lot of people are doing now. Um, the amount of people that ground their beef or whatever, I'm using ground turkey for this one. Um, and I did grind, I did saute it up last night, grind it, I did saute it. But when you saute it, it didn't quite stick you know, it didn't quite congeal together when I took it out of the, um, when I took it out of the, I'm going to do a green pepper, our friend the green pepper, why not? Um, when I took it out of the uh, pan last night after it was cooked. So today we're going to cook it a little bit longer and I'm actually, I'm not going to brown the turkey. I'm actually going to put the turkey in raw, uh, but I have an instant read thermometer so I'll be able to know exactly when that temperature is done. Okay, so 
That's fine. So I've got uh, two of these great orange peppers. Oh, there, is that yellow? Oh, look at that. All right, forget it. I didn't realize I had the yellow ones. Why did I do that? Anyway, so now I'm just going to stick these into a hot boiling pot for three minutes total. Put the timer on. I just turn these on the side a little bit so they're all covered. I make sure that there's water inside the pepper. And all we're doing is softening them up. Okay, now, the other thing we have in this recipe is we are going to um, saute one medium onion. And here's a half of one that I used last night. And I'm going to cut this one up. Now this I am going to brown with some garlic. And I put a lot of garlic in last night. My breath was stinky. I'll we'll say that. Still bad. And my breath is not still so stinky, thank you very much. But thankfully I sleep alone, so it didn't matter. Okay, I'm going to cut this one in half, and I'm going to cut a little bit more. All right? And we're going to call that a medium onion. That's my medium onion. Okay. And you definitely want this to be soft. Even the ones, now this is interesting, even the recipes that have you pre-cook the meat, um, pre-cook the meat and don't pre-cook the meat, still had you soften it up because I thought, okay, well, if these are going to be in the oven longer, do I still need to soften them? And it was, yes, even the ones that had you put the meat in raw still softened the uh, green pepper. So we're going to cut our onion. We're going to dice this. And so for those of you that are new to cooking, always have a rag nearby. Um, and of course, I've got the root to the top of the onion, and I'm just going to cut it. I'm cutting it against the 90 degrees to the circle of the onion. And I'm going to do this one too, so you can see I'm cutting basically with the, with the ribs the other way. And then when you cut it down, it's instantly chopped, and you don't have to worry about doing much with it. Okay, that's my buzzer. I'm going to leave it on for one more minute. Timer, one, zero, zero, timer. Because I've mastered that microwave now. Mastering the microwave. We should do a whole show on that for seniors. You know, it really is a good way to cook, don't you think, Kevin? Oh, can I just all show you something? So I'm trying to lose 20 pounds. Look what Kevin made me make for him. He has a little pile of chocolate chip cookies um, that he's got here on the set just to tease me. Um, but Kevin's going to try to lose 20 pounds, too, with me. Kevin is fairly new to Chicago. And uh, I don't think he's quite aware of how fit the city of Chicago is. The Midwest may have a reputation for being a little bit pudgy in places. But along the lakefront, let me tell you, I'll tell you what, it is something else. These people are fit as can be. And uh, summer is coming here to the great city of Chicago on the lakefront. And so we need to look good. So take it off. That's almost done. So now I'm just going to take these out. I've got my, I've got these, um, these are great. These are tongs that have, uh, these are good grips. They've got rubber on the side so it doesn't puncture your food and also if you don't want to scratch your um, cooking stuff. All right, so I'm going to pull these out of the water. I've got a little thing here, a grate. Woo! Be careful. Ouch, hot, hot. I know it's sort of a messy step, but, but it is necessary. Now, I've done this a million times. When you take that water, be careful because the water will run down your um, utensil and you're going to burn yourself and you're going to be very angry with yourself. Okay, the red one out. I can't believe I messed up not doing the yellow ones. And I'm going to pull this t these tops out. Okay, that is done. And now we're going to brown the onion up. Put that on medium high. I'm just going to put a little swig of olive oil, no more than a tablespoon. That's all you need. And we've got our onion. I'm going to put it in the pan.
And we're going to do three cloves of garlic. Where's my garlic? Oh, here it is. Look, in my beautiful tray. And you know what? You can put any spices or anything you want in these stuffed peppers. I'm just, uh, I'm just showing you one way to do it. Uh, I was coming up with lots of different ways. All right. So we've got three. Well, I'll do a little bit of more garlic. I love garlic. So, and I'll be alone again this evening, so it doesn't really matter. You can really hear it. Can you hear the onion? Yes, you can hear the onion. So let me, uh, let's do one more little Whoa. piece of it. And again, I just take my knife and I press down on the garlic and it comes out of its little casing. And I have this excellent garlic press that I love because you put the garlic in, you push it, and then you, you squeeze it out and then it's got these little ridges. And then you push it back up and it pops out the garlic. So let's put the garlic into the masher. Take my knife, just scrape along the sides, and we'll take the rest of it, or most of all of it. Let's see if I can get that in there. I can. Use that right in. And I shouldn't say we're actually browning the onions, we're just going to get them translucent. We just want to soften them up. Um, and I will say, last night I did do it where I browned the turkey first. So um, we're going to be doing this. Uh, we'll see how it comes out. I didn't have time to test another one today, but I think it's going to be fine. Live on the web. This is what it's all about. Live webcamming. Here we go. All right. So that's doing its thing. I'm going to rinse these off. Get rid of my garlic crust. We're all done with that. Um, Let's talk turkey. Let's talk turkey like it's Thanksgiving. This is 99.1, which means it's 99% lean, 1% fat. And the interesting thing about that is, if you look at actually ground turkey or turkey sausages, a lot of times it is a lot, it's got a lot more calories, got a lot more fat than chicken actually has. Now, I'm concerned about calories, not, not as much as fat. If I wanted fat right now, I would just sacrifice the calories and have all those calories, but I'm getting calories from other things in this meal. So I wanted the leanest turkey I could find. 99.1 is almost like a chicken breast. So, excuse me, four ounces of ground turkey is 120 calories and 26 grams of protein, which is great. So we have four, oh, you know what? I'm gonna come back here and stir my, stir my onion up a little bit. And it got brown, the garlic got a little brown. That's fine, I'm not gonna worry about it. But you definitely want to take the raw, you always want to take the rawness out of your garlic. Unless you're eating pesto and people expect it, none of your guests want to bite into raw garlic. All right, I'm just going to turn that down a little bit while we get going. Okay, so we're making four peppers, so that means we're going to use 16 ounces of ground turkey. Now, those of you who seen me use this before, I love my scale. Get a scale. It is the best way to keep track of how much you're actually eating. Um, so the scale is on, then you put the bowl on it, and then you zero it out, which is cool, this is zero. Now I can go ahead and feel free to put in my uh, turkeys. Oops, so I want 16 ounces of turkey. 13, I can't see it. 16 ounces in a pound, so there you go. All right, so I got my pound of turkey. Now I'm gonna wash my hand. I'm not licking my fingers, I'm washing my hands. I'll be right back. 